Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to install Virtualman on CentOS 7. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. Virtualman is a plugin or module for Webman that simplifies the management of multiple virtual hosts through a single interface, similar to cPanel or Plesk. With Virtualman, you can manage user accounts, Apache virtual hosts, DNS entries, MySQL databases, mailboxes, and much more. To install the Virtualman control panel on your server, you need to perform the following steps. Step 1. Connect to your server and update all the install packages. Step 2. Install dependencies. Step 3. Setting the host name and FQDN. Step 4. Download and install Virtualman through a script. Step 5. Configuring Webman's root password. Step 6. Configuring Webman using the post installation wizard. First, we will see the prerequisites of Virtualman control panel. First one is your server must have a fresh CentOS 7 OS. Second one is you must have root access or access to a user with pseudo privileges. Third one is a valid host name set on your server's primary IP address. Fourth one is two registered custom name servers for your server. Let's follow the steps which we have mentioned in the previous slide. Step 1. Connect to your server and update all the install packages. You can connect to your server through SSH as the root user or as a user with pseudo privileges. To do this, enter the following command in the terminal. Replace IP underscore address and port underscore number with their respective values for your server. If you are using the default port number 22 on your server to log in into it, then there is no need to mention it in the command. Here we are using the default port to log in into the server. Hence we didn't mention it in the command. Copy this command and paste it on the terminal and press enter. Enter the password of the root user in the password field and press enter. Congratulations! You are logged into your server through SSH. Once you are logged into the server, you have to type the following commands in the terminal to update all of your currently installed packages to their latest available versions. This process may take 10 to 15 minutes to complete it. Step 2. Install dependencies. Virtualman requires Perl, so we will install it by entering the following command in the terminal. This installation process may take a few minutes to complete it. Step 3. Setting the host name and FQDN. Please be informed that a host name should be a FQDN, fully qualified domain name. It is essential to use a subdomain as the host name such as demo.yourdomainname.com, not the main domain name such as yourdomainname.com. You can check the host name of your server by using the following command in the terminal. Here, we have used demo.acu15.com as a host name for an example. You can change or set a new host name by the following command. 
Please note that once you change or set a new hostname for your server, you need to reboot your server for the changes to take effect. Step 4. Download and install Virtualman through a script. Virtualman can be installed in many ways but, as we are running CentOS 7, it is pretty easy for us to set up in a clean server. We will set up it using an automated script which will automatically install every dependencies and packages. To do so, first we will download the script file of Virtualman using wget command. Enter the following command in the terminal to download the script in the server. After the Virtualman script has been downloaded successfully, we will go for the execution of the script. For that, first we will have to make the script file executable by running the following chmod command in the terminal. Once the file is made executable, we will go further towards running it using a shell. Enter the following command in the terminal to install Virtualman through script. The script will give a warning message about existing data and compatible operating systems. Press Y to confirm that you want to continue the installation. Once you enter Y and press enter, the installation process will be started. The installation process may take a few minutes to complete all the steps as it installs various software packages and components. Step 5. Configuring Webman's root password. As you know that Virtualman is a plugin or modules for Webman, and by default, Webman uses the system root user and password for the web interface login. If you log into your server using an SSH key, you may not have the system root password, or may not feel comfortable using it to log in remotely through a browser. To solve this issue, we will tell Webman to use a different password for its web interface. Please note that this process won't change the system root password. It will just tell Webman to use the password you specify for the login. To change Webman's root password, use the following command in the terminal. Replace your password with your preferred password. After then restart the Webman service so the changes take effect. Step 6. Configuring Webmin using the Post Installation Wizard. To configure Webmin, we will use its web-based Post Installation Wizard. Open your web browser and navigate to https colon slash slash your server IP address colon 10,000. You can also use your fully qualified domain name to access the site. This will display some warning regarding SSL certificate because Virtualman uses a self-signed SSL certifications. We can simply ignore it and continue it by clicking on the advanced button. After then, click on the add exception option. Once you click on it, add security exception window will be opened. Click on the confirm security exception button to accept it. By clicking on it, you will be able to see Webman login page. In the username field, enter root as a username. In the password field, enter the password of the root user. 
Click on the sign in button to log in into your Webman control panel. Congratulations, you are logged in into your Webman control panel. You can see the introduction screen stating that you are going through the steps to configure Virtualman. Press Next to continue. On the Memory Use screen, select No for Preload Virtual Libraries, because you don't need to run the virtual user interface all the time. Select Yes for Run Email Domain Lookup Server to enable faster mail processing. Press Next to continue. On the virus scanning screen, select No for Run Clamav Server Scanner so you'll use less RAM. Press Next to continue. On the spam filtering screen, select No for Run Spam Assassin Server Filter and press Next to continue. On the database server screen, select Yes to run MySQL database server because MySQL server is widely used and supported by most applications. Select No to run post GRESQL database server. After then press Next to continue. On the MySQL password screen, enter your desired MySQL root password. Here we have used Accuate 1234 as an example. It should be different from the root password you used to log into Webman. Select No if you do not want to remove the test MySQL database. Select No if you do not want to remove the anonymous MySQL user. Press Next to continue. On the MySQL database size screen, select the RAM option that matches the amount of RAM your server has. For a 1 GB server, select Large System 1G on which MySQL is heavily used. Press Next to continue. On the DNS configuration screen, enter your primary and secondary name servers which you configured in the prerequisites. If you haven't set these up, check the skip check for resolvability box to avoid error message and proceed. Here we have entered ns1.acu15.com in the primary name server field and ns2.acu15.com in the secondary name server field as an example. Press Next to continue. On the Password Storage Mode screen, select Store Plain Text Passwords if you must support password recovery. Otherwise, choose only Store Hashed Passwords. Here we have chosen Plain Text Passwords as an example. Press Next to continue. You will see the All Done screen. Click Next to end. You may see a message stating that Virtualman's configuration has not been checked. Click the Re-Check and refresh the Configuration button to check your Virtualman configuration. Address any errors that the check reports. This process may take a few minutes to complete. Congratulations! Your server is now configured. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. 
We seen. How to install Virtualman on CentOS 7. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.